Do you do your own beats and you write your own lyrics and everything? Yeah. Okay. I, well, I just started producing like more, mm -hmm. but um, it's definitely something that. Uh, so what does a producer come like do exactly? What's the responsibility of producing? Because there's producers that don't actually like sing or rap or do yeah. any of that stuff. So you got like executive produ produ producers and mm -hmm. then you got like beat producers. And you're doing the beat producing or the executive mm -hmm. as well? Lately, I have been doing the engineering, the production and the writing and the performance lately. lately. Wow. But the album is for the most part um other producers. Mm -hmm. I just I just started doing my own production recently because I want to own 100% of my music mm -hmm. being independent like I think it's important for you to have everything and your and your like full control reservoir, you know what I mean? So yeah. you can earn the most money that you can, you know. Mm -hmm. Cuz if you're if you're doing it a song with another producer by default you're gonna have to give up 50 percent of the publishing to that producer yeah jesus that's so much <laughs> but they also do they also like do the distribution and stuff like that like like how do record labels fall into that as well and are you signed to a record label no i have no plans of that no plans of that okay i was signed at the beginning of my career and i'll never do it again probably because it, uh, it was just i don't know if it was just a subpar experience mm -hmm. or if it was just it's not for everybody yeah but you know that's usually how like they can get you more exposure yeah right? for sure i mean if, if you're if you're a is about having a good deal a lot of artists don't get good deals because yeah. if you if you sign a deal before you have like a lot of what they call uh leverage mm -hmm. then like you know you you could be giving up too many albums maybe your percentages like i think they were saying like 18 percent is normally like what an artist would receive 10 to 18 so not even the majority of the money that an artist would make from their music goes to them when they are signed you know you know you gotta pay your dues you know because they're essentially like like that's worse than the government. Like, <laughs> like that's worse than the government. We don't even pay that much in taxes. I mean, it's worse than bank loans. It's, yeah. it's 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 tough, you know. But I think if you're if you're successful, then you know you can still profit, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, then you know, if you're lucky, you know they'll let you go after your deal's over, and mm -hmm. you know you won't have any complications. I don't want to speak too much on the industry because I'm not in the industry like that. Yeah, I got you. Um, I don't have any plans of it. Mm -hmm. I'm just a guy trying yeah. to i understand what it takes to run a label i understand what labels do mm -hmm. i understand that process and i'm just trying to do it for myself and build my own following gotcha i don't want to be compared to anybody i don't I, completely independently yes right yes okay that's kind of where i'm at with everything mm -hmm. that i do and so what got you started into music like <laughs> my friend know. my friend rich yeah. When I was in high school, we were just like, you know, just making beats on the desk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beating on the, with the little <laughs> pencils or whatever, you know, yeah. beating on the desk. I think, uh, like, Lil Wayne was, like, real hot when I was in high school. Yeah, I remember that. So we were just trying to write bars, you know. They call bars, like. Mm -hmm. Bars, know. like, verses or? Uh, yeah, like, lines. Lines. Like, cool, yeah. like, cool lines. You know, we were just trying to be inventive, I guess, you know, of, like, our own, our own sounds and. Mm-hmm. Because we were inspired by, you know, obviously those artists. When I was in high school, it was different, though. Like, you know, I think you had to be on a label to to be known. Yeah, because, you know? I mean, social media wasn't as big back then as it is now. No. Nah. Right? Yeah. It wasn't really a thing like that. It was like at the very, very beginning Yeah, when I was younger. Cause, yeah, I graduated in 2006. Oh. That was still when MySpace was around. High school, you were 2006. That's when I graduated, I graduated high school. Yeah, so yeah, 06. MySpace was just like, just getting off the ground, yep. I think. Instagram wasn't even around. Yeah. Facebook, Facebook was, was like, new. barely coming around, around 2006. Oh, yeah, we're tweeners. Yeah. <laughs> I graduated in like 2010. So I'm, yeah, a, that's... I'm, a, I'm like the next era over. Mm -hmm. But it was like, it was much different than now. You know, yeah. Um, 
I don't know. I think there's like benefits to both. Mm. I don't, I would never bash labels. I would never bash anyone choosing to do their career any way, yeah. any way they want. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I know you hear a lot of crazy stories about the industry. So yeah, some know. of it true, some of it's obviously a little bit. It was uh, yeah. I was kind of in hearsay. Yeah, I was kind of in the mainstream recently, especially with like Taylor Swift and how she's like trying to regain her like old music again or something like that. Are you aware of what what was going on with her? No. Yeah, evidently, you know, all the music she made back in, you know, her early part of her career, that's actually not owned by her. That's prize. And that's the, yeah, and that's the same with like every artist out there. I think Kanye also had a problem with this too. The the masters, when they say own your masters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But somehow she's been able to like get that back and she re-released the old album recently. Oh, wow. And it exploded. Yeah, I mean, that's... Like that's everyone a, bought it just to support her because Swifties yeah. are... Oh, yeah, she's number one right the now. The best fans, dude. I think she's the number one artist in the world, yeah? I think so, yeah. Yeah, she's on the label too still, right? Or is she independent? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. Because I don't really listen to Swift too much. But yeah. my friends, everybody has friends right. that listen to Taylor Swift. Like, yeah. half your girlfriends listen to Taylor Swift. No doubt. <laughs> At least one or two songs. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't uh, specifically. I can't say that. Does Christina listen to Taylor Swift? No, no, I didn't think not so. really, not really. We we tried to pick up one of her albums the other day. I think it was the new one. It was cool, but yeah. it's not for us. I know. You know, it's not really. It's not that. It's not for me neither. But no, but it's not bad though. It obviously it's just different. No, no, tastes. she's very talented. Super. Yeah. Super. It's just not my type of music. Anyone with not. success. Yeah, is talented despite what people say because music is subjective so that's another thing like i think people have to stop with the with the bashing unless obviously like someone's offbeat or like mm-hmm. you know because like i don't think people understand there's really a fan base for mostly everything yeah you know like they wouldn't be that popular if they weren't some kind of talented Right. Well, if someone didn't like them, mm-hmm. you know, because talent, again, is like another subjective word. Like, you know, some people think Michael's the best basketball player. Some people think LeBron is trash. But LeBron's mm-hmm. obviously LeBron. Yeah. So Yeah, it's know, not like LeBron isn't talented or isn't a good basketball player. Like every, every, he's every, objectively everybody, really, really good. Everybody in the NBA is as something that I think that, like, the casuals, they call them, like, yeah. not to get off topic, but, like, just any... If you're talking about any major artist, you're talking about any major athlete, like to be there, you're not just there because of some gimmick shit. Like, yeah, you're there because you were you're that really you're, really good. You're the man or you're the woman. You know, like yeah. you're that per- like you're that yeah that so, being. What what inspires your music and the type of music you make? Like, do you have an inspiration? About, my experiences. Yeah, my life. I can't talk about some shit that I don't know about. Exactly. You know, uh, I mean, some of it can be a little fantasy. Like, I think if there's some, there's some, there's some stuff that's going to come up on my album uh, later on this year that uh, that's kind of like me ex- expressing thoughts, inner thoughts I might have. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I can't do everything I imagine exactly. or think of because there's like. The, the real world and then there's like fun thoughts mm. you can have in your head that you just can't but a music is a is a good place to express it mm-hmm. and have some fun with it yeah you know so i think i think that my imagination and my experiences you know and do you get any inspiration so you said little wayne earlier do you mm. do you try to everyone has like their own flavor on how right. they Right. sing or rap or anything right. like that right. do you draw any specific inspiration from particular artists you know like oh, yeah for sure we're all inspired mm-hmm. probably like you know like i i think when i first started making music like i didn't really know how to do it mm-hmm. so i study other people like i study drake i study chris brown i study future lil wayne like and then as I started getting better and like understanding, because I can't read notes, like I don't, I don't mm-hmm. really know the uh, technical aspect of music. Okay. But I can hear what's happening. Yeah. 
And then from that, from that point on, I can create something. So it don't really matter the genre. I wouldn't say I'm like overly inspired by those people now because I don't want to like bite anybody's style. I don't want to like, yeah. I don't want to like rip anybody off. But like, obviously, like, um, we're all inspired though. Yeah, they, they were the ones that kind of taught you learned from by mm. listening to their music, their lyrics, yeah. their style. Even, even older artists before them. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were inspired by someone. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Ty Dolla Sign. I mean, even like Maroon Five. Mm-hmm. Like I have, like you know, obviously I have hip hop. I try to do everything. I just try to. Yeah, actually, Lil Wayne was doing rock there for yeah. a little bit too. I yeah. remember that. I tried that too. There's like there's a rock song on my on my album. Oh, nice. How many albums do you have in total right now? I would say just one. Just one. And then this one will make two. Okay, like you got one coming out? Yeah. Okay. Probably like June. June? Nice. And how long did this take for you to develop? Mm, not long. I started November of last year. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty much done, but I just keep on doing new things. So, like, I add and subtract from it. But I think now I have, like, a solid, like, 10 to 12 that I'm like, okay. Damn, that's I'll good. I'll probably release, like, I mean, I technically have, like, 20, but I'm going to condense it. Yeah. I don't want to, like, overwhelm people. Because I'm still new, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I have a lot of fans, but at the same time, I don't, I, I can have way more, mm-hmm. you know? And then, obviously, like, the world keeps turning. So, like, more and more people will continue to uh, discover. Yeah. You know? So, uh, I, I don't want to give too much at once. Mm-hmm. Overwhelmed, because you can keep coming later on. Maybe next year I'll drop some of these, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and what are some of your like biggest challenges as an independent artist? Not going uh, the route of like a label. <laughs> I would say, I would say, uh, there's a few, but the main one is 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 like the budget. Mm-hmm. Labels obviously have more money than individuals, so like when you see an artist charting, usually that's because they have a massive budget. Mm-hmm. Not taken away from how popular or how good the record might be, but just like obviously, like if you're if you're throwing ten thousand dollars at something versus one hundred and fifty thousand or two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars at something, obviously, like that's going to get more traction. Oh yeah, just because you know you pay to play. Yeah, and that's like dropping it on like the production of the songs. Yeah, so like the studio, all of it. Um, Okay. The marketing is what costs the most, though. Yeah. yeah. You know that's that's what I mean when I'm when I talk challenge. It's like making the music is not it's nothing. You mm-hmm. all make the music the same way, but who can reach more? Yeah. More people. And do you use like social media as a way to like? Yeah. No, not there. That's probably got to be like one hundred percent, man. Like, um, like I think something that I've uh, already started doing and i'm gonna keep releasing to people is like lo- me show- recording mm-hmm. the music uh raw mm-hmm. and then like you can compare it to like the studio the f- technology version got it so when you come to the show or well, it may maybe it will inspire you to come to the show mm-hmm. because you know now you know that i can actually yeah. perform you see the you see the effort. I can, I can do it, and I, yeah. Versus like you know just like cutting on some auto tune and like because I use auto tune in my music. I don't think people don't always think that artists that use auto tune, mm-hmm. and usually that's what independent artists get. It's like they they want to find a reason not to like you first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't I think that started with the memes of like the headphones connected to the trash. <laughs> like people were saying like mixtapes is trash. Like like oh like listen to this mixtape, listen to this mixtape, boo boo like. Uh-huh. You know, so I think that's something that like social media is like even the the playing field. So mm-hmm. even if you don't have the biggest budget, you can still get on there and, and like tap people. into the algorithm and reach people for free. Mm-hmm. You know, I also find it might be kind of difficult because actually, I just had a a guy come in and paint the interior of my house, right? And he's a friend of a friend that works for construction, mm. but. He makes his own music too. Oh, dope! And it's not bad, actually. He he came out with the song just recently, and he let me hear it. He's like, "This isn't even out yet." And yeah. he just played it on his phone, and I was like, "Damn, this is pretty good." Yeah, you know. But it's like there's 
so many people like that that are probably pretty good but it's yeah. like how do you get known like oh, it's really saturated is there an independent artist out there that has like made it really really big you know that was just independent and just mm. yeah brent fires okay brent fires uh i'm sure there's others eventually <laughs> let's say you are independent and you actually you know start yeah. getting pretty popular yeah you probably got record labels coming after you at that point right like being like oh sign with us, sign with nah, us. We i mean it. yeah but no nah, but you're still you wouldn't do that no because like if i'm i'm already doing the heavy lifting mm -hmm. if i if i start getting popular why am i gonna come over here and i'm just yeah. gonna stay with what i'm doing because a lot of people don't understand like the the not only am i independent because i want to like control what i'm doing creatively creatively mm -hmm. but i don't like nobody telling me what to do man yeah so like <laughs> so like you know i i, I have to be independent mm -hmm. because i like to make my own rules i like to do what i want to do like of course i have like a, a small camp of people i i show them the music but ultimately mm -hmm. like it's my decision like yeah and it's my it's my creativity and i'm gonna just like do what i want Mm -hmm. you know but on a label you know if you're spending other people's money obviously they're gonna have a say in what you do yep you know 100%. and and, and it, it, the wheels might turn a little slower mm -hmm. sometimes it, the wheels might not turn at all maybe you get shelved <laughs> maybe you get stuck you know there's not even a high percentage of artists on labels that succeed i don't think yeah so i mean for me that's why i am the way i am and that's why you're gonna stay yeah independent. yeah i mean I, could you could you come up with your own label like no nah, not not right now not right now it's too much like you got to focus on yeah i saw this this guy talking about that on social media he was like everybody thinks you gotta have all these incomes and all these different things mm -hmm. Nah, like focus on one thing grow yeah. that let that become something then you can branch out yeah, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Yeah, I don't want to get too hasty, you yeah. know. Like, I want to focus on making this happen. I actually, the song, the latest single, One Reason, just mm. came out, like, on the 29th. Mm. And it already surpassed 10,000 streams independently, which was, like, incredible. Like Wow. That's, like, the fastest I've ever hit that mark. 10,000. In one day. Holy crap. It passed it in one day. Uh, shout out to Olivia King. It's, it's she's just, the, she's the, the girl, the, the uh, female singing. Nice. She's incredible. She has she has a, a nice following. Mm -hmm. She agreed to do the song with me. She didn't even charge me actually to to do it. We just we're just gonna break bread on the back end. That's awesome. But like, and I she's think, local too. No, she's in Cali. Okay. But that's kind of like I think what you have to do as independent artists. I, I believe she's independent as well. Mm -hmm. You you kind of have to work with each other. You know, like you mm -hmm. kind of have to network. Uh, I think that's how you kind of again level the playing field too. And you meet them through like social media. Like, yeah, and that's how you can collab with people. It's, yeah. Okay. I met her through. Well, I didn't. I've never met her in person, but like met her. <laughs> yeah. You know, through uh uh my friend Cal, mm -hmm. and I've never met him in person either. <laughs> but he makes music too uh yes god he is. but he's like a um a marketing guy as well oh and so like he did a live with her one day and i was like who is this you know what i mean like and i I checked out her page and i was like oh wow she's mm -hmm. actually like pretty talented you know so i i had made this song that was like totally like not like something i ordinarily do mm -hmm. but she ended up liking the hook a lot and she agreed to to do the music i mean nice. do the song for and how'd that go like that that hasn't been your only like collaboration with someone has it no nah, it's probably my it's probably my biggest collab though okay like as far as like uh when i you know being independent mm -hmm. it goes she um, must have a lot of like listeners and fans yeah she has a good amount okay that was i think that was like um my first time working with somebody that was like I would say like successful, probably like mm -hmm. able to make a living off their music independently. That's awesome. Yeah. And she's in I take it she's in LA. 
Um, you know, I don't know exactly where she stays, okay. but but I know she's in California. I know that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue to learn from this process, mm-hmm. and then you know, hopefully, I can continue to do great records like this with other artists, no matter whether they're independent or not. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even the top people do this i mean if you look at their album like half mm-hmm. of it is like featuring somebody yeah know? i mean that that's too much you know i don't want yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think your album should be your album but i think because of because people don't really buy music anymore mm-hmm. so i think that you just try to get as many eyes on it as you can mm-hmm. to get the stream count okay shopping. so do you have to when you put your music on spotify do you have to pay for that no right uh, a little bit, yeah. You, pay you do something. have to pay a little. You got okay. you got to pay a DSP. DSP, okay. Because for the podcast, I don't have to pay. I post my podcast up to Spotify and for free. Yeah, that's incredible. Spotify doesn't charge me, but I do pay a a hosting service. Right. That I upload to. It's not much. It's like twelve bucks a month. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what it that's is. That's kind of okay. So that's the same for you. Yeah, like you, you got to pay someone to put it on there. Yeah, and then not only Spotify, but like all of them. All the other ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Apple Podcasts for me, and probably for you is Apple Music. Apple Music. Got it. Okay. So it is similar. Apple Music is kind of weird, but we make it work. They're like they have like three different versions of me as an artist. It's so weird. Mm. I've never seen that with anyone else. And where do you get most of your listens through Spotify? I don't know. You're not too sure. Exactly. I don't know because I'm still trying to even get my portal for Amazon Music, and they're like trying to give me like shit about is it me or not. And it's like, well, who else could it be? Like they got, <laughs> like they want you to verify that the music you're uploading is you. You know, I, I, yeah, <laughs> that's so weird. How do you yeah, but like it's kind of it is kind of crazy though because like people that don't know who I am mm. see me in the flesh. Yep. They they then learn that I'm an artist and then they look at my artist pictures and they're like, nah, that's not you. And then they hear like they hear my voice mm-hmm. and then they hear the music and they're like, nah, that's not you. <laughs> is it because like your music is good and they don't think you can produce something like that? Like, what do you think? I think it does come. I think it is naturally a surprise for people when they discover someone that's mm-hmm. talented, like like the way I am. Then they just can't believe it. Yeah, it it reminds me of, and I'm not trying to compare myself to Superman, but you remember, yeah. you remember how like Superman would be out there with no mask on. Yeah, <laughs> and no one recognizes him, and no one <laughs> thinks that oh, it's Clark Kent, <laughs> and he's got no mask on. It's like, bro, it's the same guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, how does nobody? But that's real. People, <laughs> they really, yeah, I, I kid you. It just happened last night. Wow. I don't know if she was kidding around, but she was so mm-hmm. serious. Like, no, nah, that, no, nah, that's not you. Did she, did she listen to a song that night, or she had been listening to like your music? They showed her a, a a picture of my Spotify profile, and she was like, "Nah, nah, that's not him. <laughs> that's not him." And I think that my look is pretty distinguishable at this point. Yeah, like I think that. If you saw me, you should know that's me. Yeah. Like, there's a picture of you. I on literally your Spotify have account. tattoos. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, the hair. The, yeah. You know, and definitely not a lot of people dress like this, I don't think. No. So, yep. Nope. She she still didn't believe it. Wow. Yep. That's weird. Well, let's talk about the creative process and, like, yeah. you composing your music. Um, okay. How do you approach that? you know and what and actually what what do you use because you create your own beats yeah everything not all the time but sometimes okay all right but i'm always alone i don't like working with people Mm -hmm. unless i'm like with the engineer and when you're creating beats like yeah what do you use to do that like is it just Uh, a computer or yeah i use splice splice yeah you can create beats on splice i yeah. use splice yeah for like video editing yeah splice yeah wow yeah you can just you can, they have like sample packs i'm not gonna sit here and act like like again i can't read music so like i just hear yeah. things i know bpm i know like you know how to match up the keys and stuff mm-hmm. and then maybe you can like pitch things or you can like you can use like the loops as is but like i like to chop things up and like kind of add my own little flavor to it yeah but splice yeah 
I like to use samples. Nice. And okay. all those samples are royalty free. So like you can get on there and just mm-hmm. start cooking up. And I was going to say, do you like mix samples together? Yeah, okay. absolutely. And like overlay them on top of each other so they play at the same time. Yeah. Like the other day I made an Afrobeat song with Asian, uh, with an Asian like wind chime. Nice. And like a Afrobeat uh, sample drum pattern, like a bass. And then mm. I use like a Spanish guitar. Wow. Combined all that together, made, a, made an Afrobeat record. Do you write your lyrics first and then the beat, or do you write the beat and then try the always beat first? Always beat first. And then freestyle the melody uh-huh. and then come back, fit the words once you got a melody that you like. Got but it. I never just like have random words in my head. No? No. Okay, so you gotta be not. listening to a beat and then the words come. Yeah, or like make the beat. And a lot of that depends on mood too. You know, if I'm in like a hyped up mood, I'll probably make a rap song. Nice. If I'm chilling. Maybe I'll make an R and B. I would say if I'm ever singing though, like it's kind of have like an R and B feel because that's just me. Yeah. What I'm I've into. Noticed that. It's my vibe, yeah. you know. But I can do an R and B to like rap, pop, Afro beat, anything. And do you like? Oh, and this gonna date me probably but do you have like a little book of like rhymes and stuff no. like that you i know, mean like i mean i'll show you maybe like it's not a book obviously it's like no yeah now we got phones so yeah. put this stuff in <laughs> no i'm not old school at all but like i would say like i've written all these songs uh okay that's a lot, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. yeah yeah i write for people too oh that's cool yeah Damn, you you must be pretty talented then if you've got so much content that you've been able to write. It's and endless. Come up with. It's endless, man. Fuck and them. do you ever just like in your head, I don't know, in the shower or if you're just chilling in a, you know, quiet place, is there, does it just run? Yeah, sometimes. You know, like sometimes. beats, lyrics, whatever. Uh, melody, always melody. Always melody. What What is the melody when in a in a piece of music? Is that different from the beat? The melody is like, like if Stevie was like, la, 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 la. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like that's some, like a melody, even gotcha. though he's not saying anything. But it's like, if you heard that, uh-huh. you could probably like repeat that back to me. It's like what people hum. Yeah. When they're humming a song, that's kind of like the melody. Mm-hmm. Got it. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. And you're not, you've never been, never taken music classes or anything like that i tried to take music theory in college uh-huh. hated it <laughs> dropped it immediately i was like bro the lady was, was like, it too much like school she was like can you da, 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 da. i was like bro no like i was like i just played you a song like i'm way past that stage like yeah i thought this was going to like help me maybe that was just like me being prideful and like not mm-hmm. willing to like learn the the go back and like refresh myself but i i feel like in my experience like when i was living out in la mm-hmm. um i was writing with the person that um signed me and i noticed that because he had been to performing arts school the like new day and age flows and things mm-hmm. like that like he was kind of unable to like understand that vibe i think because mm-hmm. he had been trained to sing a certain way and, and this right. guy is incredibly incredibly talented you know what i mean one of mm-hmm. the best songwriters all time maybe you know for like pop top line pop mm-hmm. but like i don't know like I, I i not even just him like other like a lot of people that i feel like are like trained they they have an understanding of it. They don't want to go outside the box. Got it. And since they're like classically trained, they're right. probably trying to stick to that. It just doesn't it don't make sense to them. It. Yeah. It don't make sense. Versus somebody that has no training whatsoever. You're mm-hmm. you're willing to try anything. You know what I mean? Like Got it. there's nothing you won't do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to music, yeah, like there's nothing I won't try because why not? Like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, fuck it. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna try something. Do you use any, like, have you tried to incorporate, like, AI in the creative process at all? 
you know, I've been seeing, I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with that because a lot of people are, like, stealing yeah. the vocal chain of, like, big artists and, like, trying to, like, claim that they're having these features from these artists. And mm-hmm. so, no. No, I don't mess with that. Okay. So, you don't use, like, chat GPT, though, like... No, no. In any way for, like, lyrics no. or... No. Okay. No, I'm not That would seem that. like cheating. That is cheating, bit. bro. Like, I'm not messing with that. Like, I, I, I think that the point of you being an artist is to be creative. If you're not mm-hmm. being creative, then what what are you doing? Yeah, and these... You're scamming. These AI programs, the way they work is anything that is put online, that's where it's pulling inspiration and the answer from. I don't like AI, period. Yeah, so when you... If you put your lyrics out there... Yeah, AI that goes into like some big, you know, server somewhere, wherever they yeah. store that stuff, and AI can access that and I can th- use it. I think human beings are going to be the, their own demise. And I think that's where it starts. Mm-hmm. I trying to replace. Yeah. I mean, I'm a technology guy. I think t- technology mostly is good. For sure. But I don't think it hasn't yet. And I'm wondering if it will, but I don't think computers will ever be able to completely replace human creativity. Mm. You know, right now it's kind of doing art pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I, I have this thing about the internet in general. Like, there's a good way to use the internet, and there's a bad way to use the internet, and that goes mm-hmm. the same way technology too. I would say. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think. See, artists maybe probably got. What I mean by artists is like picture art. You know, painting, right, right. digital art, that kind of stuff. I think they're AI is disrupting them pretty well, but I haven't yeah. seen music yet. I haven't seen like AI music, right? No, there's AI music. There is AI music. Is it any good though? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, oh, all you got to all you got to do is just have a clip of somebody's voice, and you can just plug that in there, and then you can just sing something and write it. Uh-huh. And then you can plug it into the AI and then it can like, let's say like you want it to sound like the weekend or something. You can just select week- oh, the weekend shit. AI and then you sing in his, sing in his key uh-huh. or his, you know, whatever octave he normally sings in. Yeah. Write you a little something. whoop de whoop whoop Wow. Now you got the weekend. They okay. That's bullshit. Cer- though. Certain artists have to be taking advantage of this, then, right? No, but it's bullshit. It should be illegal. Uh-huh. You can't copy. You can't. Well, you can't copy like that's, the that's, weekend that, style. Well, no, but that's his voice. That's yeah, him. Yeah. You're taking the essence of him mm-hmm. from with a computer. Yeah, I'm starting to think something here. Do you think that it could be possible? So like someone's essence, let's say yours, right? Yeah. Like you have a certain style and a certain voice right? when you make your music. Mm. If someone were to take that and make some AI generated version of it, even though it's different words and maybe like different beats, but it is still your voice making those things. Do you think like, would that technically be like, copying or copywriting still absolutely. right absolutely absolutely okay. like i think if, so too if you're not me yeah you have no business sounding like sounding me. like me yeah. but people are already doing that like there's there's a guy i'm not gonna say his name but i just discovered this the other day because it was on my spotify radio mm-hmm. there's a guy that literally used the same beat which is fine because i uh sometimes most of the time i actually like I'll use a beat and I buy it outright because I feel like pfft, once I touch this, like man, you can go ahead and try if you want. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But this guy literally took the same beat and used this exact same melody that I mm-hmm. created and changed the words around a little bit, but totally like copied the way yep. I sounded, everything, and like try to like switch, like add his own little flavor here and there. But it was like, bro, you're stealing. Like, uh, I, I don't see. know. I don't know. There's no other way to say that. Like, you're stealing my, you're stealing my swag, bro. Yeah. You know, you're not AI and the shit, AI and the shit. But like, you, you, you're still. It's even worse, really, because like you doing it with your own mouth. Yeah. You copying this shit straight up. You that's, know, that's been around for a while too. And like, you ain't giving me no credit. Mm-hmm. Did you call him out? 
Nah. Okay. You know, because that's one of those things where, like, if it if it blows up, obviously I have no choice but to do that. But yeah. like, I understand people are inspired too, mm-hmm. and like, I obviously I've drawn inspiration, so I I don't care. But it's just like if we're talking about it, yeah, it's like, bro, like, come on, like, yeah, you're doing that. This has happened. You know, Vanilla Ice, right? Yeah. Yeah. That beat that he had for that Ice Ice Baby song, uh-huh. you know that, I don't know if he got sued, but people say it's a ripoff of a David Bowie song that has wow. that exact same like beat that dun, 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 I didn't know that. Yep. That's how old I am, man. I'm not, su- <laughs> I'm not surprised, though. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 it's a little different. And it's like, you know, David Bowie's song is like this, and mine is like dun 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 you know like it was this slight <laughs> little like, fucking chain <laughs> i mean that people are doing that like familiarity is definitely a thing mm-hmm. uh you know yeah most people think it was still a rip like there's no way yeah i mean if you're just changing one little yeah bro, yeah it's just like one little you plagiarizing yeah you 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 swag jacking whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. you know what i mean whatever professional term you want to put on it <laughs> or unprofessional term <laughs> yeah you're doing that yeah let's talk about fans like how do you do you interact with your fans i don't like the word fan you don't like the word fans nah what 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 do you call them supporters supporters okay do you interact with your supporters absolutely okay absolutely i mean sometimes they can go a little bit overboard Mm -hmm. get a little flirtatious (laughs) you know what i mean like yeah and it's cool but you know Absolutely. I think you have to interact with the people that support you because like I have more people that I don't know support me than people that I do know. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. I try to, you're never probably going to see me in person unless maybe you come to a show. Mm -hmm. So like the internet is the only way I have. There's nothing wrong with like saying what's up to a supporter. Yeah. You know, maybe we won't have a long, drawn out conversation because I, at the end of the day, I don't know you. But at the, you mm-hmm. know, but like, still, like, if you're showing me love, I'll show you love back. You know, and they support you by like obviously listening to your music. Yeah. But is there a way? Do you, do you monetize your music in any way? Like, do you make money? Yeah. What's the what are the avenues that you make money? Streaming. Sometimes they they physically can buy it. You know, whether it's uh, iTunes. So they can buy the songs. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe like Bandcamp or... Uh, they got this new platform called Even mm-hmm. that I'm trying to like... I mean, I just got on there the other day. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to see like how that's going how that's going to play out. Because people are so used to like streaming and like... Mm-hmm. It's very convenient to just pay a fee and then you have access to everything on, on one platform. So like maybe like going out of your way to download another okay. platform and like then actually have to pay for that individually mm-hmm. it might be tough to kind of convert a new fan like that yeah but or a new supporter i'm sorry but mm-hmm. like um yeah i i think you just try to do it any way you can uh-huh. when you're independent though and you take all forms so i know when it comes to like youtubers and stuff one avenue that they use is um patreon yeah have do artists do that i'm sure some do i haven't i haven't gotten on patreon yet but okay i'm sure do you think that's something you would do yeah you know like if you want to support the music i'm all about getting paid so yeah exactly it (laughs) seems to me it would seem like a good you know like if you want to support me in my music you know endeavor yeah and we can make this thing even better quality will go up I mean, I'm just I'm just one person, you know. so I can I can only do so much right now. Like again, like yeah. one, one thing at a time kind of thing. But I think like like uh, you can monetize from Facebook, Instagram as mm. well, TikTok. Um, do they have tips on there? Tips? Yeah. Uh, no, so I, I think, think I think you get paid per view. Like, per view. Per how many views or how many followers? I think all of that okay. kind of like. Because I think YouTube has a a tips option. We're literally. Mm-hmm. You can tip somebody like if then you start monetizing once you hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube or something like that. Yeah, I think it's a thousand subscribers and a 
certain amount of hours listened. I forget. Yeah. Probably should know this because I have a YouTube channel. But <laughs> I mean, we're on the way. Yeah. So there's a long way to go. I, I just me, started least. YouTube. I think I have like 300 or something right now. Oh, you do have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Is this where you put your videos? Or is this uh, more like you showing the creative process? No, I literally just started it. So like I'm actually still creating the content to put onto. I think I have like one music video, maybe two. Mm-hmm. I think I have like two music videos. Um, obviously, like the song lyric video. Um, it's very new though. Like, yeah, I haven't really like tapped into it. I'm I've been trying to get Spotify going because Spotify has the most users. Yeah, so that's kind of where I've been trying to focus mm -hmm. and like understand because uh, if you release frequently on Spotify, they they just throw you in front of people. Yeah, they bump you up. Yeah, so mm -hmm. like I think that's the most beneficial platform I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. And TikTok is like that as well. Does uh, how does Spotify recommend your music to like? It it, it looks like is it people just click on it. People just click on it. If people just click on it and listen, I think it also recommends it. So like for example, Olivia mm -hmm. uh, King. Yeah, the, the artist that I just did the song with. So, we got the song together. We're both main artists on the song, even mm -hmm. though I like wrote the majority of it. Yep. She wrote her part. I wrote the hook, my verse, mm -hmm. and then she wrote her verse. So, I, um, the deal was to make her a main artist, even though she's just on yeah. one part for the most part. I mean, she is singing in the back of the hook too. Mm -hmm. But the point here is that we're both going to make the same amount on the song got it and like as people from her page listen yeah now it now converts into the algorithm for me got it the fans will then be exposed to me as well because you know yeah because it's on the same it's on her spotify or it's on both it's your on both of our spotify's got so it. spotify is cool like that because like you can both be the main artist and the same mm. song will be on both of your pages so now you double dip in Cool. Versus like on a lot of other places like YouTube, you can only do one artist page oh. at a time. So if if they listen to a song on her page, you're still getting paid for that. Exactly. Because you're part of the main artists on that song. Exactly. And and that vice versa. Cool. If they listen for my page, she gets paid. She gets paid too. Yeah. Okay. Is it a split or yeah. you both good? Okay. Yeah, so we break bread. Yeah. You know? We split. We're gonna split everything fifty fifty. That's super cool. Um, as far as like the total royalties, I believe because yeah. she has a big following, and she deserves to get paid of for course. for helping of me reach new people because she has more okay. people than I do. Yeah, and yeah. obviously some of her listeners now that mm -hmm. you're featured on the song on her page. Yeah, <laughs> will probably start following you now, right? Yeah, they have yeah, already. Yeah. Okay, so you already see a bump. Yeah, like, in your for well, sure, for sure. I mean. That's what's cool about her being willing to share that mm -hmm. that love, you know. I think all independent artists should be open if it fits. Yeah. If it fits your brand. So like obviously mm -hmm. I I waited to make something that could benefit her as well. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't approach her with a song that doesn't make sense for her brand mm -hmm. and her sound. So I kind of came to her world, I would say, to make that connection. Got it. You know. Okay. Well, maybe you guys do on something else in the future. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. She's awesome. Super cool. So what advice would you give for like uh, someone who is also an independent music maker? Like, do you think you have any words of wisdom mm. to give someone who is aspiring? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Just keep grinding. No, I would say, uh, I would say, I would say, uh, try to be, try to, try to be true to yourself. Try to tell mm -hmm. your own story, because if you're out here trying to copy other people, and yeah, again, we all get inspired, but like, mm -hmm. if you're not you at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense for us to care about you, mm -hmm. because we already have such and such. Got if it. you're not the best version of yourself, then no one's going to care. Do you think you got to be try 
do you think you have to try to be unique and different in a way that in a way that's like not already out there or mm -hmm. just make the music however you feel like what makes you happy i think you gotta be happy. i think when you're coming up it's good to have some familiarity um i would I, I don't know because some people they you know they they blow up just doing something totally mm -hmm. random and different you know there's you never know what's gonna hit i can't yeah. i can't sit here and just give give the blueprint because i'm still trying yeah. to figure out my own blueprint you know so it's like branding is like that branding and to me branding is different from marketing and and mm -hmm. making music to me it's like all of that is like it's got its own box that it fits in mm -hmm. so like as far as advice i would say just like if you're gonna do fashion that to me is probably the most unique thing obviously when you're marketing music the foundation of marketing is like relating to other artists mm -hmm. so let's say like like i told you i do r&b so if i was running an ad i would say all right well i'm gonna try to get fans that listen to chris brown mm -hmm. so i would so that's the advice i can give you but gotcha. at the same time don't be stealing from chris brown mm -hmm. just be familiar with like his sound his sound right when you pick beats mm -hmm. pick beats that people are kind of like already into mm -hmm. that but, listen to but give music. us your own flavor on those beats gotcha you know yeah i mean i would say you're at a higher level of success than like most people out there probably trying to make music would you agree i think i'm just better than most people at making music mm -hmm. and that's why you think you're more successful than them yeah, rightfully so. Okay. I don't think everybody was created equal despite what they try to say. Mm -hmm. Because. So you do think that not everyone can do it sometimes. You're no, just, it's not for everybody. Yeah. I think that's what people don't understand. When I say people not created equal, it's like, of course not. Mm -hmm. if, if me and you were trying to make music. Yeah, I couldn't make music. I, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do why it. Why would you do that? Exactly. If you're not musically inclined. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can write songs because that's just a random talent that I have. Yeah. So, obviously, talent plays a big role in this. For sure. If you got no and talent, you think you're talented enough to earn your success that you have right now. Yeah, and I mean, I wasn't even that good when I started. Like, it was kind of mm -hmm. a reach, honestly. But then, like, um, I would say like vocally is where I had to like improve. But mm -hmm. I always had the ability to write melodies and write songs. I just was a natural. That was something that I was good at, you know? Do you think, because this happens a lot, like, do you think it's, like, not how good you are, but who you know in the industry that could catapult you up a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, you don't want to ride coattails. So, like, yeah. again, like, your talent should bring you Or your sell success. your soul or whatever. And I don't. I don't really. Like, I don't really want to get into to, yeah. to the selling the soul stuff because that <laughs> that's a whole nother. I've never done that, mm -hmm. so I can't really speak on it. I can't speak on. And obviously, that's kind of like a metaphor. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I meant that as a metaphor because a lot of people, and this just goes with social media. A lot of people do a lot of crazy things just yeah. for attention absolutely. just for views just for you know yeah success absolutely. i mean you kind of have to like so much has been done already mm -hmm. you know that's why i said like sometimes i feel like people like they need to up the ante in mm -hmm. order to get that exposure right you know because the internet has just made <laughs> made so you know things so readily available that like you yeah. gotta be outlandish you gotta say crazy shit like, yeah I'm, i don't who was i was i talking to you about this like who are the island boys and why did they ever get popular i don't know you see like how how is it that i know who they are i know who they are yeah but i don't know why they're famous exactly i don't know either i just I know. know maybe because it's so easy to like make fun of them <laughs> <laughs> Like they they look a little ridiculous, right? And they do ridiculous shit. 
I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't. I don't want to speak on them in a, in a way that would suggest I know yeah. anything about them. I don't know them either, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those are <laughs> probably some of the people that sold their soul for um, fame and success. I know? mean, some people. <laughs> I'll say this: I've had some videos go viral, man, for different reasons. A song, some songs have gone viral. I can't explain why all of that happened all the time either. Mm -hmm. uh, some more ridiculous than others. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes the algorithm just hits right yeah i mean or sometimes you could have like somebody on a big page rip your video and post it and now you've got this viral sensational thing kind of happening um so yeah i mean you can list a whole lot of people on the internet that are just gone crazy viral mm -hmm. and you know maybe now they have careers that you know they probably never thought they was ever gonna have but that's the beauty yeah. of the internet you know like, there's a fan base. What might be ridiculous to you is, like, incredible to someone else. Yeah, it could be. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, and that's why I was saying, like, the equal part is, like, mm -hmm. you. I can't compare myself to you, for example. Mm -hmm. We're totally different people. Yeah, of course. Great people. Mm -hmm. But what might be ridiculous to me might be normal to you and vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I just reached that point now where I try to just... Give everybody their flowers. Yeah. You know. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You know, I'm not you. I'll never know what it's like to be. Yeah. There was a, uh, I don't know if you know who this is. I don't know his name, but I saw it on social media, of course. Who's and this? it was, uh, there was this Mexican guy during the pandemic was riding his mm. skateboard with some cranberry juice really ocean spray cranberry juice oh you know what okay that sounds familiar it sounds actually. familiar right I don't, I don't i think so and he made music too right but because of this one video that went <laughs> viral of him cruising around With just the, like <laughs> looking like he was loving life too yeah right like yeah. he just looked like he was chilling yeah and everyone was this was during the pandemic everyone was locked up in their house so feel good stuff was probably you know yeah and he was just cruising around drinking the Sun kiss or whatever, uh, cranberry juice. <laughs> he blew up. People start. He started. You know, people started listening to his music. So he got a bunch of supporters. Right. You know, now supporting him, and he got sponsored by Sun Kiss. Very cool. You know, to one of his videos that he was having Sun Kiss in his <laughs> in his videos. Yeah. So you're right. That one little video, one thing, That's just blew up. You can turn that to a career. Yeah, and now he's you know he's not the most famous person in the world, but he's famous enough that he can make uh, money off of his yeah. music now. I think that's that's incredible for him. Yeah. Hopefully, he can continue to make moments like that happen because mm. I do notice a lot of people burn out. Like so, with music, some a lot of times, like you, what they call one hit wonders, when people yeah. like. You're kind of undeveloped as an artist, but you end up making this really cool song, mm -hmm. you know. But then nothing you do after that really sticks. Yeah. Because, like, you wasn't really as talented as we thought you were. Is that what you think it is? Like, One Hit Wonders are yeah. a lack of talent on the part of the artist? There's a lot of factors, but I, w I would assume that that's, like... That's one of the Lil Wayne songs. always says this thing: stay in the studio. If you don't stay in the studio, if you don't get better, mm -hmm. you're gonna get worse. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's like, once you start teetering backwards, it's hard to grab people again. Yeah, you know. Um, so I like where I'm at because, like, I've been able to con I've been able to constantly grow, little yeah. by little. When you're connected to that machine. Mm -hmm. It kind of like can catapult you maybe a little bit further than you're ready to go, and and I and I think that's why a lot of artists just fall by the wayside mm -hmm. because they're not ready for that. They're not developed. They're not as good as they should be, you know. Yeah, and then and then it, as quickly as you got signed, you can get dropped too. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, even in, like, independently, like let's say you have a lot of success, but you can't come up with another hit, mm -hmm. or you can't come up with another song that. Um, I I would say like this 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 kind of goes with the advice part. It's kind of like, 
always evolve, continue to evolve, continue to try new things. Because mm -hmm. when it, when it, when the well dries up, you got to be able to adapt, adapt, adapt to it, yeah. and and do something else that that they never heard from you. Mm -hmm. You know, continue to re recreate yourself. I think that's something that I've done personally through the mm -hmm. years. Is just continue to create, with continue to explore myself. And be willing to push the limits a little bit uh, because I think that's the most important thing about life in general is mm. to, that's, I mean, why else will we be here? Yeah, be like, adoptable. What are, you, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, while you're here, are you leaving that legacy? Mm -hmm. Are you continuing to create that legacy for not only yourself, but like, let's say you have kids or like, or for your family, mm -hmm. you know, like paint paint that legacy so that I'll always be here. You can always eat. Your yeah. family can continue to eat even if you're not here or even if you're not making any more music. If you've done enough, mm -hmm. then you can continue to eat off that. Exactly. Yeah, that's one thing as creators is when you have music, videos, mo or um, mm -hmm. content out there, yeah. that's still people are viewing. You don't you'll even always, need music videos. Money no. for that, right? You don't even need music videos anymore. That's the craziest thing. Mm-hmm. You can just hit them with short form content. Yeah. Hit them with a 15 second vid. Yeah, you're right. I just posted a 38 second video and most people only watched like 24 seconds of it. Yeah. Why would I drop a three minute video music video on you? Exactly. You're not going to make it through the first minute and a half. I was going to say on <laughs> on YouTube, my, my podcasts are about an hour long. You right. know what the average watch time is? No, nah, how long? Five eight, minutes? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the average. So this is people probably clicking on it. Yeah. And maybe not even listening to like one minute. Yeah. And then there's, you know, that's maybe like, because I get maybe like 100 to 150 um, views. Right. So maybe like 100 of them only listen to like the first five minutes. But then maybe 20 or 30 actually listen through the whole thing. And will tell you I love the podcast. And I tell you I love the podcast. I love so. the podcast. How? You ain't, even, you ain't even see the whole... See the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know who's listened to what, <laughs> right, right, right? Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> For sure. But um, but people do tell me that they, you know, they had listened to the podcast and, you know, they'll tell me about, oh, I like this part where you did this. And sometimes I had recorded it so long ago. Right. And during the editing process, I will see it again, but it's not like I intently listened. And sometimes I'm like, damn, I forgot I even talked about that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's good too to like have like clips that you can market and that's what i'm trying to do but that's more time to try to edit yeah. those clips because just like you i do everything myself man right and you got your yeah. own job and other things like I'm a, yeah i got a day job and stuff like that how do you think you're do you feel like you were talking about evolution yeah and adapting do you think your music has evolved from when you first started to what it is now <laughs> only i can show you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I, obviously, it's gotten a lot better, right? Yeah. Okay. But do you think your style has evolved a bit too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I couldn't really sing like that when I first started making music. Mm -hmm. um, and then like I got in a lot better shape. Um. More experience, more confidence. I think confidence is what continues to evolve my mm -hmm. music. It's just like believing in myself at this point and when i say that too is it's not backed by no amount of numbers it's not backed by how many mm -hmm. supporters i have it's just like yo, know, i do this for myself mm -hmm. for my own enjoyment you know what i mean and like the better i get to me it's like more encouragement to keep going mm -hmm. so i i've drastically improved yeah you know and the numbers end up reflecting that as well like i remember when i used to drop a song on the first day and wouldn't even get 100 people to be able to listen to it and like today we have ten thousand people listening that's awesome you know maybe next year we'll have a hundred thousand mm -hmm. people listening or maybe by the end of the year we'll have a hundred listening do you have any like goals in mind for your Actually, career I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to go platinum mm -hmm. at least once. Hopefully that, that'll be a lot more than once, but. 
is platinum 10 million what is or 1 million, 1 million sales okay 1 million sales i believe is platinum okay is it through albums singles it, albums singles it albums could be okay. anything yeah because um, i know it used to be albums right like back when yeah. CDs and records yeah. were no, it, it, same. It's, single, it's still the same. Single thing. can go platinum. A, a album can go platinum. Okay, so it's still just one million buys of yeah. a single, or okay. yeah. I think that I think that um. So like the the next after this song, probably in like another three weeks, I'll release a two song pack that I completely did myself. And uh, we'll see how that measures up against mm -hmm. stuff that other producers and I have done. But I, I want people to know that it's just pushing the talent. Mm -hmm. How far can I go? Like, am I good enough to do everything by myself or should I continue to do stuff with other producers mm -hmm. and, other, and other artists? Yeah, I mean, it's good to collaborate, right? Because that's how you yeah. can get more... People, though. yeah, but my goal is always like trying to get to a million on every song. That's like always something that I, I want to do because I've done that in other aspects of my career, mm -hmm. like or my life. I've had videos reached a million more times than I can count at this point. Wow, on YouTube or on social media? Uh, X on X, well, like, Twitter, yeah, Twitter. yeah, yeah, no, X. But, like, yeah. But I think if you can do that in one aspect, you can do it in any aspect. It's just mm -hmm. about creating the moments that match and that feel, you know, I got to mm. create moments that captivate people, you know, to me, that's all it is. And your more recent plans here in the future is releasing this new album, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I wanted to do, the album's called Him. Mm -hmm. I had so many names in mind when I was making the album, but I think it just, it just came together and it worked out for to be that because like, uh, they're, they're, especially now that I, I am producing as well as writing, I, I used to just only write and then like I would get a beat from a, whatever producer. And um, But this, this one has production from all around the world. It's like Belgium, Poland, um, United States. You're, you're talking about sounds from these countries? Sounds from these countries. Yeah, Africa, like... Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like like I was telling you about the Asian sounds, mm -hmm. the, the, the Spanish guitars... Like this is like I'm I'm an international artist at this point I think wow like my music will reach well beyond America, and this is all you doing the producing in this one, in this album. It's or a you mix. Got, like it's some a mix. some I have produced, some I haven't produced. Got it. But the the sounds are like, you know, some people like most rappers usually just do rap music. Yeah. Like this is just. When I say him, I mean like I'm him, like for real, for real. Like mm -hmm. I could do anything. Like there's nothing I can't do. That's what you mean by him. Yeah. There's, there's no limitations mm -hmm. on nothing. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited to hear this. Mm -hmm. And how many, you, you said you dropped a couple songs from it? Just one. Singles? Just, just one, one. Just one. Two days ago. Two days ago? Almost okay. going on two days, yeah. All right. I'll give that a listen. Which one's that inspired by? Which one? What do you mean? This song that you dropped, like, which country is inspired? What kind of sounds are in it? Oh, you know, uh, this beat, actually, I just randomly heard this beat on YouTube. I don't know the, I don't know who produced it. I but, it but it was free to use? You could you could take it? That's what it said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he can always get at me, he or she. They can always get at me. I have no problems breaking bread. You know, it said free, free nonprofit. I'm pretty sure it's what it said um or free for profit yeah whatever is, like, is this one going on the album or is this just a yeah single? it is yeah I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on it mm -hmm. and just to clear just to clear things up but usually i just buy leases because yeah. i don't really care if anybody else sings like so mm -hmm. a lease is pretty much anyone can still use the beat i don't own the beat outright i'm just paying for the rights to use it i see and you know Again, because it's like, why would I don't even know what's going to happen with this? Like, why would I spend yeah, crazy buku bucks on something that might not, you know? But if you start making money off it, do you do you owe that person? Yeah, anything? absolutely. Okay. Like that's what I'm saying. Like they they can always get at me. I see. And we can break bread. I'll let you know the stats, and we you know we can break bread. 
That's cool. Do all all good business. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's what's gonna definitely help you be more successful if you have if you're if you're uh a man your word. What's the what's the word I'm looking for here? If you're uh honest. Honest, yeah, I was gonna say what is it when you're like when you're like a good person and you integrity. integrity. When you have integrity, there yes. you go. So I definitely feel like I have a lot of integrity. Like I have no mm -hmm. problem. Like if I if I owe you something, I wanna mm -hmm. make sure that you receive it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you don't like ripping people off or like No, I don't like have I mean you, you always gotta watch it back because you know anything mm -hmm. can happen, but I don't like putting myself in positions where I have to watch my back. Yeah. I mean, I'm a believer in karma, man. If you start doing shady shit, eventually shady shit will happen to you. But at the same time, it's, it's messed up. Because, like, <clears throat> there's there's a song that I'm going to release as a single. It's called Funny With The Money. Mm. And it's kind of a not all about a situation. Mm. But there's been some situations lately where people have taken advantage of my kindness. Mm -hmm. And where, you know... I have looked out for you, and when it's time for you to reciprocate, mm -hmm. now it's it's an issue, you know what I mean? And it's like, yo, what's up with that? Yeah. Like, if I, if I loan you something and you say I'm going to pay you back, you should pay it back. You mm -hmm. know, it's different than the bank. Yeah. I ain't the bank. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you needed money, you could have went to the bank. But if they said no, it's probably for good reason. Mm -hmm. So now that you've come to me, oh, well, I need this. Yeah. This is not government funded. This is just off the strength of my own work. Yeah. Whatever I have is from whatever I've done. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's this guy, for example, that, you know, he, he owed me some money. He, he ripped me off on some plane tickets. Mm-hmm. And he and he and he knows he owes me and my my fiance. He owes he owes us money. Mm -hmm. And this guy is like, I'm gonna pay you back. He's not gonna pay it back. Yeah. You know, we went above him. He's fired now, mm -hmm. and I hate that. But it's like, why did you do that in the first place? Yeah. No one told you to do that. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I mean, this. So it's funny with the money. You're funny with the money, bro. You needed some money instead of just asking. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would have helped you out. But now you ripped me off and now you owe me this. And now you don't want to give it back because you can't because you mm -hmm. you was foul. Yeah. So you, knew, and not, you knew it was wrong. And you knew it was wrong. So now I got to watch it because people do things like this. And now I got to, you know, I got let you. him tell it though. Like, I'm a bad person. Oh, you got me fired. Mm -hmm. Did I? Or did you get yourself fired <laughs> by doing bad business? Mm. So I believe in doing good business because I don't I don't yeah. like I don't even like being affiliated with situations like this. Yeah, I got you. But it's infuriating. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? Like I know. Actually, I went on a cruise recently with some friends. How was that? It was awesome. <laughs> it was it was so much fun. I was drunk the entire time. I don't think I was sober, not even for an hour. <laughs> oh shit. I would fall asleep, we'd wake up, we'd go get breakfast. That was my sober hour. Yeah. And then as soon as breakfast was done, tequila shots at the pool. Hey, you on vacation. Yeah. That's how you do it. But one of the, these are friends from Miami, and one guy was missing. I'm like, where's Emilio? Uh-oh. He's like, Emilio couldn't come. And I'm like, why? And he's like, he can't afford this, first of all. And then every one of my friends is like, yeah, he probably owes each of us a grand each. No. <laughs> like, we've been spotting him for... Wow. He's just taking advantage. Yeah. I mean, he's taking advantage. And, you know, also, he doesn't make as much money as the rest of us. So, understandable. Yeah. Which, which is, is fine. Which it's is understandable. But the is, thing is, is, you've racked up the debt. quite a bit. Yeah. You've racked up some debt. And, you know... He still parties and he still does other stuff. And it's like, dude, you still owe us. Nah, you shouldn't you know? be outside and you owe people money. Yeah. So, of course, you know, was he invited? Sure. But he had to pay for everything. And if he couldn't afford it, you can't come. Right. That's how it works. You know, like no one's going to spot you this time. You know? We've already done you. Yeah, exactly. All we can. 
so we've already done all we can all we probably want exactly. to exactly so if anything he just hangs out with us when we're like going to the bar like he can afford his drinks at the bar yeah the, the crazy thing too is like i don't i expect you to give it back because you said you was going to give it back mm-hmm. like i i've given people things before on some like and yeah we'll, and we'll continue to do so like bro if i if i can bless you i will yeah if you, you know, spot somebody and he's like, yeah, I'll pay you back later, man. And you're just like, cool. And you'd spot them, yeah. whatever, 100 bucks or dinner or whatever. Right. And then that just never comes back. It's like, where's he said, you can pay me back. Those were your words. Exactly. You said, <laughs> you said you was going, you was going to run me my money. But you, exactly. But you're not so doing it. So it happens, it. yeah. It doesn't surprise <laughs> me that it happens in business. It happens yeah. in any relationship. Whenever and, there's two and, people. And hard times happen. I'm mm-hmm. not here to make fun of nobody going through hard times. But try to be a man of your word or a woman of your word. Yeah. So, so man, what's what's a good place that people can, like, stay up to date with oh, man. new music, anything new coming out? You can catch me on Instagram. Is Instagram, like... You can, you can catch me on Instagram. You can catch me on uh, Spotify. Mm-hmm. Apple Music, any anywhere really. Um, Apple Music, Amazon. Okay. It's all as far as music goes. It's on everything except for SoundCloud. I don't, I don't really okay. mess with SoundCloud because that's kind of like they don't like paying folk. So that's not and they can find you by just typing in your your artist name into either Instagram and or yeah you you, you type in uh, I am Zach P two C's. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like, or anyway. Zach P. Really, if even if you Google Zach P., Zach like P. everything will pop everything up. Everything will pop up. Yeah, everything, like magazine articles, like uh, you name it, albums. Uh, and I and I have the I have the page. I own the mm-hmm. the. They call it like the um the, the bar the the bar um. The art, maybe it's the artist domain. Okay, it's not really a website, but it's just like the page. Like, like let me see if I can show you what I mean. Because you can you edit own that. the. Is it called an IP? I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not really. But a, it's I am Zach. But like, if you just Google Zach P, like Zach I'll show P. you. I'll show you what I mean. Like they have a. Um, Um. This see this bar. Oh, got it. It okay. says he's, he's an American rapper. They're calling. Yeah, me, they're calling me a rapper. Okay, this is a Google thing then. <laughs> yeah, and that's what they call it—a bar. Okay. Yeah, like kind of like. I mean, it looks a little different on. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's just Google Zach P with two two C's. Yeah, and then like see Instagram pops up yeah. right here. The little knowledge bar. No, okay. um, it tells you like you know R and B, hip hop. It shows you like the YouTube videos, whatnot, Facebook, all that. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say you've done excellent. <laughs> I mean, I'm still, I'm getting there. I'm mm-hmm. getting there, man. Like, I think this year is going to be like a life changing year for me. Yeah. Like, for musically, like just like transitioning out of the things I'm doing right now and really like stepping back into my artistry because. That's something that I've always wanted to do from the from the beginning. Like I was a mm-hmm. college athlete, and then you know when the pandemic hit, you know we did the whole the whole thing to get through that. Yeah. Um, and then now it's like all of that. The current work that I have now is like kind of like on um, like takes care of itself. Like I have management that like yeah. they manage my image. Oh, that's cool. They manage all all that stuff. Okay, so you do have a manager then? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, like, I, I, I have an agency, I would say. It's more of, like, an agency. Mm. And they take care of the day-to-day stuff. They talk to a lot of the supporters. They, they're they the Got ones it. that kind of, um. I mean, I, I obviously do, too. But, like, yeah. they, you know, I can't reply to everybody. Are they managing your social medias, too, or you're doing that? Yeah, they help me manage my social media. Okay. But like Instagram, I I I usually do all of that myself. Yeah, I always do the posting myself. But as far as like 
responding to all the supporters like i have a lot of followers yeah so it kind of just it can be a little overwhelming for one mm -hmm. person yeah i'm you pretty know. sure you get like hundreds maybe thousands of comments on your stuff uh no i mean the comments the comments i'm not like drake famous you yeah. know what i mean like i'm like manageable manageable like famous like i i probably have like a little over like three four hundred thousand mm -hmm. somewhere in that range like all all across social media all like. across social media okay but you know it's all independent so it's like yeah it's it's impressive for an independent person. Yeah, I would but say if so. I was on a label, that would be like, I don't know. You it's know? still it's impressive to me because their numbers are padded too. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like you know, not everybody's following is like what it says. Yeah. For example, like I have, what like forty some thousand followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I know that's not all the way true because I've hired some other agencies before I had the agency now. And they padded that shit a little bit. So yeah. I probably have like 20-something thousand followers for real, for real. Like, mm -hmm. And I don't have no problem saying that because that's just what it is. That's it. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, and unfortunately, like with social media, social media kind of like, it exposes how popular you are with actual numbers. Right. So even though 40,000, you know, that is a lot of followers. Right. Just that number impresses people. Right. If half of them are padded, no one really knows. You know, no one really cares. Like it, it benefits you from having that many followers because let's say if you have a million followers on social media, that puts you in a certain level of status. You know, yeah. I got a million followers on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. Like it puts a number on your actual status social media yeah. does same thing with likes same yeah. thing with comments you know and it's true this could hurt people a little bit like mentally sometimes Honestly, people care too much about the likes and you know, this kind of goes back oh, to what yeah, we said yeah. about people doing crazy stuff just to yeah. get attention honestly that blows me anyway because like for example i was i was verify with the, with the blue check remember, remember, mm -hmm. remember how like the blue check was like kind of like a coveted thing this was on twitter or x so on instagram oh instagram on okay. instagram i was verified long before you could pay for the shit yeah and like you know like i had i had i had worked with universal i had i had done some different things mm -hmm. like i had written songs for a lot of different people i had um i had mar i was covered by some magazines um i had some like cool publications like but even with all that it's like you can get plugged in and you can just pay for somebody, for example, at Yahoo to write an article about you. Like people make it such a big deal about all this shit because they don't really know. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling people because like I, I'm sick of the charades. Like, yeah. like, yo, like honestly, like you can on Netflix, for example, when they're like mm -hmm. number two movie today, yeah. Yeah. they pay for them to write that. <laughs> it's not necessarily yeah. the number two movie in the yeah and that doesn't that, surprise me but that that's the benefit of like being with the machine yeah and having that funding because you can get shit like that you can pay to be on billboard mm -hmm. you can fix that stuff i mean it's just like with google when you google anything yeah what are like the first five six things are like sponsored paid so you can go all the way to the top that's why i hate ai and shit like that because now it's just taking information like you could make things up online yeah you can make anything up i could be anybody i want to be mm -hmm. i could change my name to tomorrow yeah and be a and and be a whole different character mm -hmm. and no one would be the wiser yeah you know that's yeah. why i feel like that shit is kind of like it's yeah it's definitely an internet thing and a in a social media thing some sometimes i think about it and i'm like man this was not good we're not <laughs> we're not meant for this right like human beings no. didn't evolve to like no get, have so many eyes on them and have so much attention hell no people so we take like, our monkey brains and extrapolate it out to something online and that's when you got people like i gotta get this many likes i gotta be this you know not knowing that a lot of these people have fake likes yeah most of them do <laughs> i and i know i know other people that one day they had you know 
1500 followers which were probably legit people that they actually knew which is a lot which is a lot that's a lot for like one person right that's a, a, a normal person not a famous person just a normal person on instagram 1500 2000 people following you is a lot of people yeah because you know you don't talk to that many people hell no like yo <laughs> nobody like, talks to that many only people. like three people have been to my house yeah exactly and i have a lot of people that i would say i like them yeah they're cool right but even that number I gave you earlier, where I told you, you know, I have 300,000 people following me. They're not following me because they know me. Yeah, exactly. They're not following me because we friends. Mm -hmm. they following me probably because some video or some maybe they heard a song or yeah. who knows. It's, it's, it's external reasons. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. They don't know me. Yeah, of course. Of course. So like, when I see people like acting all like, Oh my god like you have all these followers bro that shit is whack to me like <laughs> because it's like bro stop with the praising like yeah. stop with the worshiping stop that mm -hmm. like we're both human beings like you can admire someone's talent and leave it at that mm -hmm. but like getting all starstruck and all this shit that people are you doing. more concerned about people obviously i think i know the answer to this but you're more concerned with people actually liking your music versus yeah. starstruck about how many followers like you said i can see the numbers mm -hmm. so when motherfuckers are in orlando talking about my music bro stop with that it's mm -hmm. not even top 50 <laughs> stop with that you don't love me yeah you're lying but it is impressive to like a normal person what you've done you know probably yeah but you know i'm not concerned with that again because it's like like i told you more people i don't know yeah. support me than people that claim they do mm -hmm. so i just stay out of all of those conversations because like you, you'll drive yourself crazy when you think about that i got you like this song came out right two mm -hmm. days ago the only people i know that posted it mm -hmm. that i that i know yeah my wife yeah my marketing guy mm -hmm. maybe a, one or two friends mm -hmm. Maybe. Everybody else, I never met them. <laughs> I don't know them. But they did post, maybe some of them posted your your song or something like that. But I'm not going to say, some some of my friends have posted songs before, but I'm just yeah. talking about this particular one. But then like the narrative is like, bro, I love your music. Like what you got going on? Mm -hmm. What you mean? What do I got going on? It's right there. Yeah. You saw it. <laughs> So it's like, you know, this this internet stuff, mm -hmm. I that might be the most challenging thing about being an artist is like mm -hmm. all the fake love that you got to yeah. deal with when people are acting like they really fuck with you, acting like they really are your friend. I think that's most <laughs> you know? famous people. And even, dude, let's say you even do get like pretty famous yeah. and you get platinum and you've, you yeah. know, you get actually get well known i mean drake yeah. has had songs about this right like right. no new friends like yeah. all these people want to be friends with you just because you know you're famous or you have songs that hit a million but they don't yeah you know they don't care maybe they don't you. even like your music you know fake love yeah they want to jump on board with the shit so it's nothing it's and, nothing new but it's hard yeah. too because like a lot of supporters i could tell like like Somebody hit me up the other day and they was like, bro, like this, this is speaking to me. I just went through such and such. And he posted the song. Now, I don't know him. Yeah. But like, you know, I got friends. They seen this shit. Mm -hmm. And ain't said nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't posted it. Ain't shown no love. And they don't have to. Yeah. But I'm just saying like, so like, that's why three people have been to my house. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like... How many people am I really friends with? How many people really care about what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I try not to overanalyze that. I'm just, yeah. we're talking about it. So, it, And like I said, this is something that social media does. Like, yeah. let's say for some people, like let's say they post something on, a new post on Instagram. Yeah. If you got to go on there and click and s scroll and be like, who liked my shit? And then if yeah. so-and-so didn't like your shit, then you're like, 
<laughs> are they really my friend? Are they really my friend? It's like, I mean, I do know that not everybody can always see the post when exactly you, when you do it as well because the algorithm is different and they yeah they have different they want you to pay for the ads now so that all your fans or supporters or people mm-hmm. that follow you whatever you want to call it like they they don't even show it to everybody that follows you now so like mm-hmm. a certain people have to comment or like the post for them to continue to like push it out um. So, you can't think about that yeah. stuff too much. I would say, and this is part of the thing with the internet, and that's made people, like, giving them mental health issues or whatever. It's yeah. because, like I said, your status, your popularity, when you put yourself out there and you see that people that you know that are close to you aren't supporting. Yeah in whatever way with a like or a repost or whatever yeah that could get in your head for sure and sometimes you just got to be like fuck i don't care i can't care because it's just gonna you gotta do it for yourself exactly you gotta ignore that shit like being popular like if you're doing music to be popular you've already done it for the wrong reasons exactly you know so you gotta do it either because you love it or this shit is therapeutic yeah this is why i do the podcast i love doing the podcast yeah i love having conversations i love and i love actually the editing process putting it out there yeah you know so i consume a lot of podcasts i consume a lot of information and i think i can have i can put things back out there into the world that i think people can learn from and i enjoy doing that yeah i just enjoy doing it doing a great job i love i love everything yeah very cool well zach thank you for coming on we have reached that limit and i think these cameras are about to turn on but i appreciate you coming on and um, absolutely thank you for i'm excited me. for the new album and i will give it a listen so appreciate it man thank you thank you